Yeah, I make my own paint and um, you often get a really good heavy mix in comparison to tube paint. So for example, this is an ultramarine blue, which is quite poisonous. You've got to be careful. So I grind the paint, you pour it out onto a glass sheet or a mortar and pestle, grind it right down with uh, linseed oil or stand oil that I use, which has been purified. And then I put in a little bit of Venice turpentine and then I mix it all in and you make um, a whole batch which will last for a couple of weeks or just for a certain thinning. And you can um, get the thickness or the thinness. So you can make it runny or you can make it thick. You might put beeswax into it as well to thicken it up or a, bit, a little bit more terps. And um, you just get a different type of paint. Also, different, it's just, in what way is it different from say commercially bought paint? Sometimes, depending on how hard you grind it, it will last a long time, it bounces the colour back, you get these really vibrant blues. I'll use it for blues, yellows. Um, the earth colours, they're fine, you can buy them from a tube, but I'll tend to make up whole big batches of it so I can really trowel it on. And you get a different quality, it's just different. It's a little bit more granular mm. than the stuff that's been, there's a lot of fillers in commercial paint, which make it a little bit synthetic, a little bit dries flat. Whereas um, the homemade stuff sits on the top of the canvas and bounces the colour back beautifully and it doesn't fade over time. This is called Caput Mortem and it's made from burnt bones and it's a beautiful colour. A rich, I just can't get that in a tube. It's so beautiful. Oh. And I always make sure that I have that mixed up in a little bottle while I'm painting with tube paints. And you can mix it together. But, um, you know, that comes in a bottle about so big and that will last me about a year. Um, so it works out, you know, Was it literally good. made of burnt bones? I think so, yeah. A lot of wow. them are burnt down. They get, you get that red quality. Lots of different things. Things are made from uh, the urine of cows that have been fed mango leaves, Indian yellow was what it used to be made of. Burnt, uh, crushed beetles. They're all synthetic now um, or made from different sort of recipes. But yeah, having the original stuff and having that link to the past is, I find, important as a painter. And you get different colours that you just can't buy.